crime has soared in Devon and Cornwall with sexual attacks, possession of weapons, and robbery seeing the biggest increases. Recorded crime in Devon and Cornwall has risen by nearly a quarter in just a year, one of the biggest rises in England and Wales, from 81,893 offences recorded by police in 2016 to 100,637 in 2017, a rise of 18,744 crimes. Among the types of crime seeing a big rise was violence against the person, with a 10% rise in 2017. In total, police recorded 35,007 violent crimes in 2017, 9,186 more than in 2016. Within this, Devon and Cornwall police saw a 20% rise in violent crimes that caused injury and a 40% rise in violence without injury, as well as a 75% rise in cases of stalking and harassment. But Devon and Cornwall police have pointed out the force still has a very low crime rate, and the rise follows a national trend. Wanted, £3,000 reward if you can find Devon Man The force has also seen reports of sexual offences soar in the past year, with a 43% rise in reports between 2016 and 2017, one of the biggest rises recorded in England and Wales, with a total of 4,371 sexual offences reported last year. Possession of weapons offences were also up, with a 35% rise in 2017, one of the biggest increases in England and Wales, with a total of 807 crimes reported, with a rise also reported in the number of robberies, up by 34% between 2016 and 2017. Theft offences were also up by 13% in 2017, with a 3% rise in burglary also reported. As well as this, drug offences were also rising, up 5% in a year. Man, 22, arrested after person, deliberately hit by car, twice, in Turkey in 2017, police forces across England and Wales recorded 4.8 meters crimes against 4.2 meters recorded in 2016 this works out as an increase of 15% in just a year, with stalking, possession of weapons, robbery and sexual offenses showing some of the biggest rises. As well as this, police forces recorded a huge rise in the number of offences involving a knife or sharp instrument which jumped by 22% in 2017 with 39,598 compared to 32,468 the previous year. Firearm offences were also up by 11% from 5,945 in 2016 to 6,604. Stalking and harassment and robbery saw the biggest increases among the types of offences recorded by police forces, both up by a third, 33%. In 2017, there were 279,191 stalking and harassment offences, against 209,636 recorded in 2016. This corresponds to 4.8 crimes for every 1,000 people in 2017. Touch and go for acid attack cat who is losing part of her tongue police forces recorded 74,130 robberies in 2017, corresponding to 1.3 crimes for every 1,000 people, compared to 55,824 crimes reported the year before. Sexual offenses and possession of weapon have both risen by a quarter, 25%. There were 145,397 sexual offenses in 2017 compared to 116,012 recorded in 2016, a rate of 2.5 crimes for every 1,000 people in 2017. As well as this, police forces recorded 36,666 offenses of possession of weapons up from 29,324 reports in 2016. The rate in 2017 was 0.6 for every 1,000 people against 0.5 in 2016. Alexa Bradley, Crime Statistics and Analysis, Office for National Statistics said, Today's figures show that, for most types of offense, the picture of crime has been fairly stable, with levels much lower than the peak seen in the mid-1990s. 8 in 10 adults had not experienced any of the crimes asked about in our survey in the latest year. Shop is man, 29, found dead at home in Bideford. However, we have seen an increase in the relatively rare, but high harm, violent offenses such as homicide, knife crime and gun crime, a trend that has been emerging over the previous two years. We have also seen evidence that increases in some types of theft have continued, in particular vehicle-related theft and burglary. Devon and Cornwall Police has the seventh lowest crime rate in England and Wales Deputy Chief Constable David Lewis said, the force has actively changed recording practices which is positively impacting upon these figures. We should also reflect on Her Majesty's Inspectorate of Constabulary and Fire. An obvious consequence of this improvement is an increase in our recorded levels of crime. 
In addition to improved recording practices in response to crime data integrity since May 2016, all incidents of rape are now being recorded as crimes in the control room at the initial report. This change in recording practice has seen a significant increase in the number of sexual offenses the force is recording which has seen a rise of approximately 43% during the 12 months, compared to the previous year. There have been a number of new laws introduced which will see a rise in crime figures for all forces across the country, not just in Devon and Cornwall. For example, following the introduction of the Malicious Communications Act we now record abusive and threatening behavior, such as abusive messages on social media, under the heading, Violence Without Injury, which has led to an increase of nearly 50% in that category. This falls within the overall category of violence against the person, which shows an increase of approximately 36%. It is also prudent to note that crime figures only represent a small part of what we as a force actually do, around 80% of our business is non-crime related. We have one of the highest levels of public confidence of any force across the country, and this means that people feel supported and confident that we will take their crime seriously. The upshot of this confidence from our public is that we will also see a rise in the reporting of certain crime types. According to Crime Survey in England and Wales, the perceived risk of becoming a victim of crime, both household and personal, remains low, with Devon and Cornwall being the third lowest in the country for household crime. This reflects that residents feel safe in our area. It is also important to note that following a survey on victim satisfaction, 77% of victims were satisfied with the services received from the force and we have worked hard as a force to improve our response in a number of key crime areas such as rape, sexual offenses, modern slavery and domestic abuse. In recent years we have seen a rise in both current and historic reporting in these areas, and I am encouraged that victims are finding the courage to come forward and reach out to us knowing that that they will be supported. No victim should suffer in silence, and Devon and Cornwall police will continue to work hard to support victims and to give a voice to each and every one of them, regardless if this sees a rise in our crime figures. We aim to deliver an outcome that puts the safeguarding and the wishes of victims at the heart of our investigation and where appropriate brings offenders to justice. I am confident that not only are my staff and officers working hard to protect and serve the public of Devon and Cornwall, but that this part of the country continues to remain a safe place to live, work, and visit, and that the likelihood of becoming a victim of crime is still very low. Internal figures relating to crimes reported up to the 31st of March 2018 have also been released by the force today. These figures show